Good morning. Oh, and I'm so excited. Look what's here. My replacement laptop. Took long enough. So they ship it without a battery, so I just swap out the battery from the one that's not booting up or not going to Windows. So now I get to call the help desk and have them walk me through the initial whatever it is I have to get my personal information on. And then this one goes ship back. They even include a re reply, a return shipping, and then they'll back up my data my data and um, I had a leisurely coffee this morning because I was waiting for the UPS to come and uh, yeah it's here I'm very very happy not funny how little things can make you happy when you don't have them I am back oh love it so I have to leave a little love note for whoever's gonna be backing up the data from the computer that crapped out so I'm going to use a little post-it and let them know what they need to, uh, which folders they need to back up so they could send that to me via CD. If it's small enough, they'll be able to pop it, plop it down on my uh, new computer. But, oh, my Filofax saved the day because, you know, we store a lot of stuff electronically and that would have been completely kaputsky. So I had my uh, contact information on there, which was fabulous. And my printer's all connected, all set. So, yeah, I'm feeling much better. Oh, it is so beautiful out here that I just had to take a break. Check on the chickens, it's 76 degrees. Yeah, you can't see it. 76, sunny, gorgeous. And I did my nails. They look like little constellations. I think I'm going to call this one uh, Starry, Starry Night. It's the combination of the black creme and kaleidoscope glitter both from wet and wilds on sale for 69 cents at walgreens each so under two bucks pretty so and there's the seedlings and then my foot it's a little swollen i haven't taken my cherry pills yet there's the other one that's normal normal not normal hey chester are you looking for your chocolate it's under the tree, honey. Oh, so nice. Nice, nice. So I'm deciding whether to have a salad for lunch or make a big salad for dinner, because it's Meatless Monday. I think Polly has a abbreviated day today, which will be nice. So we can have dinner early on. Oh, hello, Chester. You found it, didn't you? Of course you did. Here you go. Oh, slobbered on it too. Sorry, that was a terrible throw. Oh, getting a little sun. Let it go. Let go. Well, he left my car in the driveway today and took his own. About time. I know he needs an alignment, but he's being very lazy about it and. I refuse to help. So we had some very sad news yesterday, um, which is one of the reasons why the vlog kind of ended abruptly. My um, sister's father-in-law is um, um, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer about a year and a half ago, and. Um, Unfortunately, it was inoperable, and the treatments did not go in the way that we had all had hoped, and he is in hospice now, and uh, we're just waiting to hear the latest news. It's really unfortunate. Um, very, very vibrant, very active, very healthy, up until a year and a half ago. So, some of the celebrating we were going to be doing this week, uh, my mom's birthday is tomorrow, she's turning 65. We're kind of put on hold to see what happens. Um, he, he and his wife are in Florida at the moment, um, but it's, my heart goes out to them, to everyone, too. Eric, to his siblings, um, Stephen, 
uh, Michael, Carrie, um, their spouses, um, Craig, uh, Michelle, and all the grandkids. But what a legacy this man is going to be leaving behind. Um, Dean of Student Affairs at a prestigious college, retired, um, an avid golfer, active in the community, participated in all the kids' sports, uh, coach, just lovely man. It's always very, very sad to say goodbye and so tragic. But again, he leaves behind a spectacular legacy in the people that he has touched and in the wonderful family that is that came out of that union. I, I feel for his wife. I, my heart goes out to her and to everyone who will be missing him greatly. And although I always try to stay optimistic as possible, short of a miracle, there is really nothing that could be done by medicine to make his life, prolong his life or have it be quality of life. So as we sit here enjoying this beauty, this beauty outside makes you think when you don't have your health, you really don't have anything. And even the simplest things that we enjoy and sometimes take for granted are not there. So enjoy every day. Tell everyone you care about that you love them without shame, without embarrassment, and without guilt. Yep. Life full of wonder and beauty and tragedy. There's a little seeds. I think I definitely need to water these in. Um, I'll come out when the sun goes off this spot and I'll water stuff in. Seedlings look pretty good. Actually, they're all these are little ones are drying out. Maybe I'll water now. I better water now. Go turn on the water. I've made myself another giant salad for lunch. That's okay. Um, I used up the rest of my dressing. Uh, I had a couple of pieces, uh, a couple of crackers with some baba ganoush that I picked up yesterday. At um, oh, I forgot to share our shop, but it's okay. We just got um, romaine and um, cashews, some banana chips for snacks, and. So I'm having a nice big salad, replying to emails while I take my break, and then I'm going to pack up my um, work printer, or work laptop to go back, and Polly will take it in with him tomorrow morning for work. So I'm going to go and draw my salad. So full. And um, Chester was hanging out while I was cutting vegetables the way Moses ordinarily does, and Chester ate cauliflower today because he saw Moses enjoying it so much. He wanted to know what the fuss was, and he ate three or four pieces of cauliflower. So yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy my spring salad. I might share with Moses. Dinner, silver dollar pancakes, my quick strawberry jam and whipped cream. Yep, that's what's for meatless Monday dinner. Hmm. Yummy, and I hear a dog. Of course I hear a dog. There's food involved.